एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स दैट इज द टाइप थ्री द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स ऑफ द गिवन पेरीमीटर एंड द बेस एंगल्स ओके सो यर इन दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस यू विल बी गिविंग विद द पेरीमीटर एंड द बेस एंगल्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल नाउ यर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट जस्ट बिगिन विद इट so the first question given here is the construct triangle pqr in which angle q is equal to 70 degree angle r is equal to 80 degree these are the two base angles that have been given and the perimeter is given that is pq plus qr plus pr is equal to 9.5 cm so basically this is sum of all the sides that is nothing but the perimeter so maybe they will write like this or they will write the perimeter of the triangle okay so here it is given as 9.5 cm so here i have drawn a rough triangle you have to just stretch a bit because the perimeter is quite a big so this is the base you have to take the perimeter as the base of the triangle okay so i have taken the perimeter as the base of the triangle after doing this what you have to do is take the perpendicular bisector of these two sides perpendicular bisector of these two sides so let us just draw a rough perpendicular bisector i've drawn it over here and the same i am going to draw right here uh, let just draw it okay i have got these two points and after getting these two points what you have to do is connect it to the top of the vertex like this okay now this is our rough figure now we are going to name it this was 9.5 cm that is the perimeter okay now the base is given as 70 and 80 okay so we are going to get here as 70 degree here that will be 80 degree okay now if it is 70 over here this will be the half of the 70 that is 35 degree and if it is 80 on the right side this will be 40 degree that is the half of 80 degree okay and this will be your vertex let us take this as p this will be q and this will be r because q is 70 uh, 70 degree and r is 80 degree okay and this too you can name it any which ways as you wish okay so this is completed so let just since it is a perpendicular bisector this two sides will be divided this two will also be divided okay now <coughs> we are done with it now we'll start constructing this triangle so first what you have to do is take the perimeter 9.5 cm perimeter so i'll take 9.5 so this is 9.5 cm this is s this is t i'll write it 9.5 cm you can write it afterwards also then we cannot get directly 70 degree or 80 degree for that we need to construct this 35 degree and 40 degree so take the help of the protector keep it on s align it perfectly with the line okay and then since the line is moving towards the right start from 0 here 0 10 20 30 and 40 between 30 and 40 this will be 35 degree okay i'll just draw the line okay so this will be 35 degree and here you can take it 40 degree as it is given in the rough figure so we'll keep it align it with the perfectly with the line and since the line is moving towards the left side start with this 0 10 20 30 40 okay okay and then you can start it okay so we are done with this 
you have to take the arrow over here and after doing this 35 and 40 degree we have done we have to take the perpendicular bisector of these two sides so for that we have to take the help of the compass keep it on T take it more than half okay you have to look only for this much segment okay not this much you have to take only this much segment and of this segment you have to take more than half so as you can see I have taken this much okay this is more than half so I'll draw the arcs over here and here okay and then keep it at this point draw the arcs here and here since this arc is going inside of the triangle you can either rub it or keep it as it is it doesn't matter so we'll just connect these two arcs and we are done so this is perpendicular sign and these two sides will be equally divided after this you have to take perpendicular bisector of this side and we have to take name it as this point as P as it is given in the rough figure okay now then take this as more than half as you can see I have taken it more than half only so draw the arcs draw it carefully since it may intersect other arcs also then keep it on P ok now here it intersects at this point so we'll again keep it on S and see that it intersect let us extend this arc also so we have extended arc and we have got this point ok you may get confused but don't worry just keep a track of the arc where it is going ok so this is done and let us just draw the line the line is drawn now I will just rub the arcs that is going inside of the triangle because that is not required our required triangle should be clean ok now we have got these two points we will connect these two points to the point P right as I have instructed you and this will be your 70 degree this will be your 80 degree ok this is point Q this is R ok now what you can do is after doing this you can just verify keeping using your protector ok so I will just verify keep it at point Q align perfectly and you can see I am getting perfectly 70 degree ok then keep it point R and as you can see I am getting exactly 80 degree so like this you have to draw it ok and it's a very simple one you can do it and after doing we have uh, remain with the 9.5 cm is the base so how to write that you can just draw this line write 9.5 cm like this you can do it ok I have written like this so the our first question is completed and now we will move on to the next question now the next question here they have told you construct triangle XYZ construct triangle XYZ angle Y is 58 X is 46 and the perimeter of the triangle is 10.5 cm 
so for that again we need to draw the rough figure I'll just draw the stretched rough triangle okay so the next question over here is construct triangle XYZ in which angle Y is 58 angle X is 46 and the perimeter of the triangle is 10.5 centimeter so the perimeter will take as the base of the triangle okay as I've already written it now we have to take these two as the base angles now for that we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of these two sides so let's just draw the perpendicular bisector of these two sides and this side also okay and then you have to join this to this vertex okay now this will be your y you, or you can take it as x or y you can take x as 46 degree you can take this as 58 degree okay now the half of 46 will be 23 degree over here and half of 58 will be 29 right and then this can be your Z and here you can write A or B that is your choice this is 90 degree okay you can name it this as perpendicular LM I'll do it on the both of the sides okay now let's just start with this one also so first what we need to do is draw the 10.5 draw 10.5 perimeter right so keep the scale draw 10.5 okay I have named it as AB so here also I will name it A and B after doing this you have to take 23 and 29 so keep the protector perfectly align it with the line then 23 so this is 10 20 that is 1 2 and 3 right so this is our 23 degree this is 23 degree now here we have to take 29 degree so what you can do is again keep the protector at the vertex B and then 29 so before 30 there will be 29 ok and then to draw this one okay now this will be your Z as we have decided in the rough figure okay now we will draw the perpendicular bisector for that we need to take more than half draw the arcs over here and here the same will do from point Z so this is intersecting here and here so we have got the two points I will just draw the perpendicular bisector so this is our perpendicular bisector this will be a 90 degree ok now we will do the same for this side again take more than half ok draw the arcs then again keep it on Z draw the arcs now we will draw the line ok after doing this you get these two points right so draw this 
and join this vertex to Z okay now you can check this this will be your 46 degree you can check using your protector and this will be your 58 degree this is 29 degree and we are done with this and here we can write X and Y this is our required triangle okay now rest of the information you can fill it from the rough figure right and what is required uh, now this is all done if you want you can write it 10.5 centimeter over here and just mention it here this is completed okay so i hope you have understood if you have got any doubts do let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video